Let's see, that would be... That'd be 100 bundles, right? So he, he paid less than probably 50 bucks for those, unless he got them delivered also. I'm waiting to see the answer. So, uh, heading to the city today. I got about an hour ride now, so I'm listening to these two guys. Lenny Garage Flips and uh, RVA Flips. They're doing a working hangout. But I got a couple cool items I'm gonna be picking up today. Well, I don't know if they're cool, but one of them is cool. And I might keep it actually for myself. One of them is supposed to be a, a vintage safe uh, on uh, casters, you know, cast iron uh, wheels. Now this thing's supposed to be super heavy, like a couple hundred pounds at least. So we'll see if we can even manage this thing. And, and it, it's in this restaurant's basement. So now the guy that I'm getting from um, is a friend of mine and hopefully we can muscle this thing out of his basement and load it up in my truck. And I, I might keep this thing for myself. So, and there's a few other things that I'm gonna be picking up from him as well. But on the way there, I'm gonna do a few stops. We're gonna do a little bit of drifting and see what we can pick up. So uh, let's do this. So I just hit this place up. It's a little tiny uh, thrift shop and I found this really, really cool piece. So uh, let me set the camera aside and let me go through this. I'm so excited about this. All right, original cover. The box is in excellent condition. It will need some TLC. All right, I don't know if you guys can see that. So it's made by Cambridge Instruments. Uh, plaque is it seems like this thing was always under the cover um, it's an audio visual heart sound recorder and there's only one problem inside with this thing let me take all this off so this board actually sits mounted in there and it just fell off I gotta glue it back on and put a couple more nails in it but that's when it would sit and locks up here with this little ledge this is your heart monitor great condition your statoscope right here power cable but this is what this looks like up close so there's a little monitor here and I power this on and it works and it shows the heart rate beats here. The, inside this book are little discs. Oh, there's one here that it's uh, mounted right now that you can record the beats. Everything lights up, the box is in great condition, a little dirty, but that's all TLC that can be cleaned up. This will have to be reinstalled back on, which is not a big deal overall. Beautiful piece. I don't know what it's worth. Uh, it's hard for me to say. There's zero comps right now. Um, and I haven't seen one before. So I don't know, I gotta do more research. They were asking 50 bucks on it. They gave it to me for uh, 40. I'm stoked on it. I think this potentially could be a very, very nice piece. Some doctor might, uh, might be very interested in this. But better yet, this might be a gift for my wife. Uh, he's a, she's an ultrasound uh, sonographer. She does baby's hearts. So she might be very interested in this piece for herself, for a display. Uh, I'm sure she would be excited at least to see it and look at it and try it out. You know, a pretty cool piece of history. Probably, I wanna say 50s. Um, that's what I'm thinking, probably 1950s by looking at everything that it's here, you know? So, maybe even 40s. Just made another quick stop here. This is a distributor that I come here quite often, usually once a month or so, and uh, get some damage, damage product for him. And what I, when I say damage, it, it, it's mainly just the boxing. The outside is damaged. The content is never damaged. Let me show you. So this is Weber, Weber product, uh, like, you know, covers for grills. So this is like for Genesis, Genesis uh, 2, Genesis LX covers. 
pay 10 bucks these usually go for about 46 and obviously this is all eBay occasionally is something in a decent condition like this one that can go Amazon this was ten dollars that retails I think for 40 uh, mainly covers this is another cover eight dollars the box is a little bit damaged here starters ten dollars I think these sell for 29.99 uh, more covers these were three dollars excellent condition that could be Amazon I think this is only like 15 bucks so yeah as long as I can double or triple my money I'm happy and a uh, quick stop in and out love it probably wondering where I am full kitchen here I'm at my buddy's uh, restaurant. His uh, banquet hall is on the other side of this door and he's actually seeing clients there that he's booking an event. But I'm picking up a few items from here. Let's go to the basement. I got the safe already in my truck. It's a little guy. I thought it was a lot bigger. The safe is only about 100 pounds. No big deal. I put it in a truck by myself. But here... Uh, Here's the big, big coffee machine. I uh, think to make coffee for like 300 people or whatever. Um, he wants to sell that. He upgraded to new system. So yeah, I'm picking this up and uh, hopefully we can uh, sell it for him. I got to do some research. I have no idea what this thing is worth. It looks big, looks fancy, looks stainless steel and it looks heavy. Holy crap, this is heavy. Man. Andy, where are you, Andy? It's like spooky in here, you know, these uh, Chicago restaurants and places and old homes, low, low basements. Kind of spooky in here. Oh, I like this room. Let me turn the light here. Yeah. I like this room. <laughs> Can survive in this room for a while. So as Andy is sitting out there outside in her restaurant talking to his clients, I will uh, I will answer an interesting email here that I got regarding guiding a, a GoPro so Frederick I am working in Afghanistan and I have been watching your videos relentlessly I am getting my job here and coming home this week I have a question on your latest video about your camera you are using it appeared that you are using a GoPro but the audio is awesome I have never owned a GoPro. My daughter wants to do the videos when I get home and I, I'm not sure what camera to get us. She has a Canon 70D, but she says it's too heavy for her to hold. Thank you in advance, blah, blah, blah. So actually, it's very funny because it, everything that you mentioned in this email, uh, Frederick, I use. This is a new GoPro 7 uh, Hero Black. Uh, which I'm not a big fan. Yes, it is convenient, it's automatic, it's quick, but I'm not a big fan. And I'll, I'll explain this in a second why. The camera that I'm filming with is actually Canon 70D with sure mic on top of it. That's why you're hearing the audio so good. So the new GoPro camera, excellent when it comes to quality on a video. On an audio part, not so much. Um, Although they did improve it tremendously, it's still not the best. Um, if I would have to use this camera for vlogging, um, I would definitely use external mic. I'm actually filming right now. Your daughter mentioned that she has 70D, Canon 70D. That's what I'm using. That's what I'm filming out on right now with the external Shure mic on it. Um, and that's what I would probably have to use for this camera. Here's what's happening with this camera with audio and a lot of people don't know this and 
and I know there's a lot of guys who use this camera right now in reselling community for their vlogs uh, and they're not aware of it that this camera actually has three microphones built in and you can switch between them now most people only use auto setting which is horrible because what happens this this auto setting makes this makes the mics confused on this camera it keeps switching between the three mics that are installed in here let me show you there's a mic on top here there's a mic on the right side these are two stereo mics and there's also a wind mic that it's hidden right here in this little area when you have this in automatic setting this camera constantly switches between these mics as soon as you make any kind of movements uh, or detects any kind of wind it keeps switching and that sound becomes really muffled especially at the beginning of the video when you hit start you can almost hear it on every single clip when I watch people's videos here's the tricky part go in and into settings not tricky really but easy to figure out go into the settings and you can manually choose which mics you want to be on so I highly recommend if you are shooting indoors and you have no wind like I'm shooting right now switch from auto to stereo mics and then you only using these two and the quality is pretty decent if you are outside switch it to the wind mic and the quality is so so I mean it sounds like your head is stuck in a bucket because it has this membrane covering this area and it doesn't sound really really good uh, so yeah guys everybody who uses this go into your settings and check that out uh, it will make a big difference now the downside to this camera is the battery life sucks. Um, make sure you have your screen off so it on, it's only on for you know 15 20 seconds and it turns it off otherwise it will eat up the battery life so quickly that maybe you get 20 minutes 25 minutes out of it. Uh, that's how long these batteries last. I have six extra batteries for these cameras. For this camera when I go on a road I always have them ready and I go through at least three or four when I'm shooting. So video exceptionally good the stabilization system that they put in into this camera it's fantastic so um four hundred dollars is it worth it i don't know there's better cameras i think out there but it is super light it's super durable it's water resistance easy to carry in your pocket um and of course they'll, they'll get you on all kinds of accessories that it comes with so keep that in mind that not only spending 400 bucks but right away if you're gonna put a mic on it the stupid cable adapter is fifty dollars this thing is fifty dollars you know so right away you buy a few accessories and you are spending extra couple hundred bucks I do like my 70d much better uh, I shoot 90 percent of the time on my 70d um, and uh, yeah that's my five cents on a, on a GoPro so I hope that helps you uh, Franklin when you get back to the States uh, not a bad camera but there's better ones out there so now I'm actually filming with the GoPro 7 uh, black edition and this is my setup with the microphone with the DAC cat on this is a sure mic that I use a directional mic and 70d Canon 70d with the white lingual ends which is 10 to 18 millimeters uh, it also does have stabilization on it as well and I have a gorilla tripod this is my I'm not kidding you this is my fourth or fifth gorilla tripod now and every time I buy it they are worse and worse and worse this one I have only since Christmas and the legs are already so wobbly that it's crazy uh, I gotta be really careful they are making these worse and worse and worse they wear out so quickly um, and they're not cheap. I paid $150 for this Gorilla tripod with this smooth moving head on top. Um, but yeah, that's my setup. I like to film with this much better than with this GoPro. Um, probably the voice right now is really good. I mean the audio because I'm about 10 inches behind the camera and the mics are right on top. So it probably sounds good. But as soon as you put it far away, it doesn't sound that good anymore, right? Oh man, it's heavy. These are big filters. You ever seen filters this big? Huh? These are humongous.
all right guys i'm back in the shop everything is unloaded here's the monster this thing actually weighed this weights more than this little safe that i'm going to show you in a second this thing weighs about 150 pounds a humongous coffee machine um and i did, I did a little bit of research as i was driving back to the shop and believe it or not this is made by american metal where and the model is 74410E. This thing retails. This thing retails for like 4,500 bucks. Crazy. Anyway, good condition. On eBay for local pickup, they're ranging anywhere between like 900 to about $1,200. This one is decent. Everything works on it. Everything's here. Uh, so I'm doing consignment for my friend. So we're going to go 50 50. And hopefully I can get uh, like a grand out of it. We'll see. Uh, I love deals like that because, you know, it might take some time for this to sell. You're waiting for the right buyer. But my money is not tied up. So, plus, I'm very limited on space. As you guys can see, this place is packed. This is the little safe. It was a lot smaller than I actually expected. I thought it was going to be like 150, 200 pounds. This is only maybe 80, 100 pounds. And it's missing the little shell, but that's no big deal. We have a combo. Uh, it's probably like mid-70s safe. Uh, still heavy, still good safe. Somebody's going to buy it. So hopefully I can get maybe 100 bucks out of it. All right. Let's go spy on Vicky. Milo, what you doing, buddy? What you doing, buddy? Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. How are you? How you been today, huh? How you been? Yeah? <laughs> What's new and exciting in Vicky's world today? Nothing. Nothing again? Nothing. No. Boring? <laughs> Anything cool came in when I was gone or no? Nothing? All right, Sorry. that's not good. It's one of those days. One of those days again. Yeah. Yep. Here's another question I want to answer on video because this question comes up a lot. Pete, what kind of video games you have in a shop and what's available for sale? And, and actually, guys, I really don't keep any good games on a display. Anything that we have better like 15 20 dollars we send it to ebay anything lower anything, yeah anything more than 20 bucks is basically ebay yeah because i'm um, as you can see like these nes games five dollars six dollars six four six five four um genesis games here three dollars four dollars two dollars you know nothing good is here really here's a couple better uh nes games $15, $10 game, Super Mario, uh, Donkey Kong 20. These are probably the only better games here. And for example, like this is a big bundle here uh, for Super Nintendo that we are asking 120 bucks and it comes like with 15 games. But these, all these games are ranging from like, you know, $5 to probably $8 with that bundle. Um, same thing with this Atari 2600. You know, there's probably 10 games to go with it. These are all two, three, four, five dollar games at the most. So, yeah, anything better, we'll send it right to eBay. So, because that's where the money is. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, what are you doing? Come on, come on, let's go. Step let's up. go. Step up, step up. Did you see that? What are you, really? 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 You're gonna bite? Step up. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Step up. Step up. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All of a sudden you're so feisty. Yeah. Alright guys. That's it. I'm calling the night. Have a good one. Cheers.